Hey guys, welcome to the final thirds lesson. I'm sure you guys are all very excited to finish up. And you're probably a bit bored of thirds by now, but here is the last thirds lesson. So if you have a fraction, for example, like this one, square root of 3 over square root of 2 plus square root of, uh, say, 5. And we want to rationalize this denom uh, the denominator of this fraction. And you notice how previously we had the denominator was just one single third. And now we have a denom denominator with two terms. So how do we then rationalize this fraction? Or rationalize the denominator of this fraction? So what we, I'll just show you the process and then you can see how it works. But basically what you can do is see how the two terms on the bottom of this fraction is uh, added together. Now I'm going to multiply this fraction, both the top and the bottom, by uh, the same pair of thirds but with a negative in the middle. So I'm going to multiply the top by the same thing as well. Uh, actually I should just write it like this with one single multiplication sign. Okay so I'm multiplying both the top and the bottom by what we call the conjugate of this pair, this bracket. Okay, so uh, conjugate just means that uh, we have two terms where uh, one of them is the sum and the other one is Uh, subtraction. Okay, so these two are conjugates. Okay, a pair of terms where uh, one of them is added together and the other one is subtracted. Okay, so this is the conjugate of that. This term here is the conjugate of that. So now what we can do is uh, simply uh, use the binomial expansion technique. So you guys remember how to uh, use the distributive law. So let's let's combine it all first into one big fraction. So we have square root of three times square root of two minus square root of five over square root of 2 plus square root of 5 bracket square root of 2 minus square root of 5 okay one very big fraction so now let's work on it using distributive law so I have on the top square root of 6 minus square root of 30 oh sorry 15 and on the bottom I have square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2 uh, square root of 2 times square root of 5 is a uh, square root of 10 minus square root of 10 then square root of 5 times square root of 2 is plus square root of 10 and square root of 5 times negative square root of 5 is uh, negative 5 okay so therefore this ends up with square root of 6 minus square root of 15 over the negative square root of 10 plus square root of 10 cancel each other out so on the bottom I have minus 5 plus 2 which is minus 3 so I have just rationalized the denominator and usually we don't really like to have a negative sign on the bottom so I would 
multiply both the top and the bottom by negative 1 so then the answer is uh, negative square root of 6 plus square root of 15 over 3 All right, just so that I don't have a negative sign on the bottom okay so let's try and work on another one so have a go at this and come back when you're done okay so I'm gonna multiply both the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the denominator so I'm just copying the top part right now and the bottom is uh, same as what it was and then I'm multiplying both the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the denominator so I have to multiply both the top and the bottom by 2 square root of 11 minus 3 square root of 3 2 square root of 11 minus 3 square root of 3 because this term this term here is the conjugate of this term okay so I'm going to uh, do the multiplication now with the uh, binomials expansion so I'm just gonna put it all in one big fraction first very complicated problem so putting it all in one big fraction uh, okay now let's do the binomial expansion let's do the top part first so I like drawing the arrows in I know some people think they can skip the arrows and then end up doing it wrong so uh, uh, minus 2 times 3 is 6 square root of 33 minus 3 times 2 is 6 square root of 33 uh, plus 9 times 3 okay and the bottom gonna do the same thing so I have 4 times 11 uh, and Plus, well, I know I know that the middle two terms are going to be cancelled out anyway, but I'll just show you. So I'm doing this by this, and then this by this. So that's uh, minus six square root of thirty-three, and then this one by this one plus six square root of thirty-three. Last pair plus, sorry, minus nine square root of 9 times 3 okay so then the answer is 44 minus 12 square root of 33 plus 27 over 44 minus 27 okay and the bottom part can be simplified the top part is simplified into negative 12 square root of 33 plus 60 no 71 All right because 44 plus 27 71 hopefully and the bottom is uh, 44 minus 27 is uh, 17 okay so I believe this is the answer uh, if I have gotten this wrong please comment so a special shout out to Panda who requested that I do more certs videos so here's all the videos about certs that I think you need to know for high school uh, maybe there's more I'll put it up later uh, see you guys next time